financial problems, they are going to get worse after Brexit. It may well be that the unicorns turn up at some point subsequently. Please, God, they do. I, I would enjoy that slice of humble pie like no other. But everybody agrees now that things are going to get worse. Even the people who spent the entire campaign telling you things were going to get better. So all of these issues, all of these issues have to be viewed through the lens of Brexit. 11.39, Cathy's in Edinburgh. Cathy, what would you like to say? Hi James. Yeah, so I'm so I'm 35 years old and currently 39 weeks pregnant. Um, Congratulations. Say, thank you. Whilst I agree with the point around um, financial security, I think it's also reflective of um, women's life choices now as well. Yes. So independence, um, the ability to have a. a a successful career before you choose to have children, um, ability to travel. So I'd say we also experience fertility issues, so second round of IVF. Um, so I can understand the worry of um, women choosing to have children in their 30s, but I'd say I wouldn't change a thing. Um, I enjoyed my 20s, I had a lot of independence, I uh, didn't choose to get married until late 20s and then our children early 30s. Um, and I think... And, and that is, you're right, and, and, and actually this is the other strand of, of, of my hot take, um, it, it is that, I mean, you describe it as a positive, and it categorically is a positive, independence, uh, autonomy, employment, all of those things, so it, it's sort of the, the, the earliest victories of feminism, if you will. But something else has happened simultaneously, which is that now most of us who are in couples couldn't be um, financially independent when we became parents after uh, unless we were in a couple you need two incomes now to, to be homeowners you need two incomes often to be rent payers and that is that is the uh, whether it's intended or not I don't know but that is the negative consequence of what you've just described so when we cut our cloth when we do our calculations when we work out what the future might hold my parents' generation never relied on two incomes. My generation was beginning to, but didn't quite. Your generation, and you're actually pretty close, now you're 10 years younger than me, so your generation needs two incomes to make those calculations and to have that sense of security. Even though that's not the reason why you waited until a little bit later than average in life to get pregnant, you couldn't have the life you've got without two incomes. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. I just think that it's, there is a, a, a big like negative connotation that's coming around with people choosing to have children later, but I think we need to focus on the positive aspects of women are now able to <laughs> enjoy their lives and continue careers whilst having children at the same time. I think we shouldn't forget that. No, I, you're, you're bang on the money, yes, so it is better than it was for your grandmother's generation, but I don't think yeah. it's better than it was for mine. That's mm -hmm. the point. I think it's a step back from 10 or 15 years ago because we could do all of the things you've just described, but mm. by the end of your 20s, you'd be thinking, I've got a degree of financial security, I've got a degree of job security, I, I, I get, getting a property is plausible. Uh, but I don't know, I want, I want, I want to leave your optimism in, in, the, in the room, <laughs> Cathy. <laughs> Where did you grow up? I, I've written, so I can't... Go on. Uh, so I grew up in Manchester. Whereabouts in Manchester? Stockport? In Salford. Oh, Salford. oh my accent radar is not, it's a bit rusty at the moment. I, I, thought I, was picking... well, I was only there until I was about 17 and then I've moved around the country, so it might be a bit... Maybe that's, what, maybe that's what's distracting me. 43 after 11, Cathy, good luck with, um, well, I, 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 the next three or four years without sleep. Michelle's in Sudbury. Michelle, what made you pick up the phone? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm the opposite. I was the young mum. And now I'm older, had my children at school, and now can focus on my career. But when I had my first one, I was only 19, and I got told you'll never get anything, you'll never get your house, you'll never get a career because you've... Ch you've Who told you that? Um, just family, older generations. Silly old sausages. My, my health is a thing to me. You can never have everything ready. <laughs> if you no. wait, you will never have children. Oh, blimey. And that stuck with me. Yes. So I, um, I then focused, because I was in the poorer category, so we was in a council house. So I got time to stay at home, because we were just in that category. And then I think my children got to school, I just focused on my career. So now I'm 30, I own my own property, I own my own career, 
and my own company and employ people as well. So yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, you, you, you're not really, I mean, you're kind of ticking all your own boxes rather than the boxes of the broader trends and, and generalizations. Interestingly, the number of teenage pregnancies has halved in seven years. Um, uh, in yeah. 2009, there were 38,000, and in 2016, there were, there were only 18,000. But you, you've just described what I, in my slightly kind of insulated middle class way, you've just described what I was trying to describe in that because you were in a council house and you weren't yeah. at the time planning your financial future or worried. We had no finances, so you can't so, worry about that. Well, so, so I, I wonder whether <laughs> if you hadn't had a kid when you were 19, if you hadn't had a baby when you were 19, yeah. and now at the age of 30, what would you be doing? Well, now all my friends are now starting to have children, so they've got their careers. But you'd have to park the business. Days. You'd have to park yeah. the business, wouldn't you? And you well, might not want to do this. You see, you'd think, oh, well, maybe I'll wait another five years. I'll wait until. Exactly. I, I want. I would want. Now I'm addicted to my business. Yeah, you I see. Carry on wanting to make that grow. So what we're going to do? We're going to make everybody. We're going to start giving incentives to, to to women to get pregnant at 19 and launch their careers. Oh up. no, it's it difficult. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. That's a difficult thing. It just shows. And now, all my friends that are having children in their 30s, they're on their time schedule because they've got to go back to work, they've got to find their nanny, they've got to pay the childcare. Well, I had none of that. No, so, yeah, well, I, do you know what? I think you win. Thank you. No, I, ju I just, by accident, because all those people who were giving you a coating when you got pregnant at 19 and insisted that you wanted to go ahead and have your baby, I hope that, I hope that they've got big slices of humble pie. Oh, they do. As soon as I purchased my first house, and got, you know, people working for me. So and you said, this is what I'd have done, right? This is it. We're having a housewarming party, um, uh, and, and you're not invited. <laughs> but obviously, you're, you're, you're an exception that in many ways proves the rule, because as you just said yourself, if it was now that you were contemplating starting a family, given the effort and the success that you expected and enjoyed, you'd probably be less likely um, if you were less successful. It's, this is weird. I'm, I'm kind of knocking at the door of quite a quite an apocalyptic observation, and Michelle's taken me closer to it, but I'm, I'm still not ready to go through it. It's 11.46. This is LBC. He's always been a quiet kid. But now he doesn't interact with other children at all. Gets scared when you talk to him. Very insecure. And there's always angry shouting from the house. We all have a role to play in keeping children safe. If you think a child may be at risk, report it to your local council who can provide support. Child abuse. If you think it, report it. Find out how at gov.uk slash tackle child abuse. Clear a room, clear a loft, clear a garden, or clear a whole house. With Clear a Bee, you can do it quickly, easily, and affordably. Choose our man and van rubbish removal service and we'll clear your rubbish for you. Or choose one of our bee bag skip bags, which you can place almost anywhere, fill with almost any kind of rubbish, and have it collected the same day. The choice is yours. Book now at clearabee.co.uk. Clear rubbish easily. Clear a bee. Everyone who comes to TDC Smile in a Day has a story to tell. I couldn't eat a baguette or fruit, you know, an apple. We gave John dental implants and natural looking fixed teeth in just one day. What I didn't want was to have teeth taken out and then have to wear benches. Around three months later, we exchanged his fixed teeth for his final permanent set. To see life changing before and after pictures and independent patient reviews, visit smileinaday.com.uk or call TDC Heart Street. Go to Take the step because it's life changing. Go to Word in the woods is that three little pigs are looking to sell their homes quick. They seem to be in a spot of bother with the big bad wolf called Rick. Come out, come out, little piggies! So they spoke to the friendly team at Property Rescue, who could offer a guaranteed sale in as little as 48 hours at a fair price and a cash advance if you need one. Fast forward to living happily ever after. Visit propertyrescue.co.uk. Property Rescue. Fast forward to sale. Homebase has 3 for 2 on Gmax and Cooper and Paint. Offerings Monday. Homebase offers your home always low prices. In store only, cheapest item free. Excludes pure brilliant white trade insurance outlets. We've been thinking about the nuclear family, that vision of mum, dad, and their 2.4 children, and how times have changed. 
how we're now living longer and our kids are leaving home later. So we thought, with all this change, shouldn't we change the way we think about mortgages? So we now cater for all types of family and are trying to turn generation rent into generation buy. Mortgages for how life is now. NatWest. We are what we do. Your home may be repossessed if you do not keep up repayments on your mortgage. Check when Good Friday falls. Check why it's called Good Friday. Check why the dates change every year. Check that it's really, definitely, still on a Friday. This year, Easter's from Friday the 30th of March to Monday the 2nd of April. And if you want to make the most of the bank holiday weekend, remember to check your travel, because there will be planned works and service changes. Search TFL Easter Travel.